Hi friends, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back. In this video, we will cover the overview of Enhanced Application Modeler. So let me go to this studio and then I am going to open any existing objects. And with the help of the existing object, I will show you the Enhanced Application Modeler. So let me open this Centrix Data Solutions. And from here you can see with this latest version 7.3 currently we have both the application modeler available the application modeler which is older one and the, and the enhanced application modeler that which is beta version so we'll go with the enhanced application modeler beta version let me open this and here you can see this is the latest blueprint application modeler we have two tabs one element attributes here you can see all the attributes related to the things and then we can modify, we can delete, we can attach that, we can highlight the element like that. Second tab is for the general properties where you can just put the application modeler name, which spy mode you, you want to use, what is that application that you are using Windows or Java browser, what is that, what will be the application location, working directory, command line parameters, application manager mode like that. So these just general information you will be using here in the general property tab and in the element attributes we will have all the element list and its properties. We have around 7 to 8 uh, options we can say buttons. We have apply changes. So let's say if I'm just just modifying this name I'm just putting this space here right. So it means I have modified that. If I will not save that so this will be lost right. This will not be saved. So we have option apply changes. That means this will be saved. Now this is not the basically uh, scenario we can say. Let's say I'm modifying in the attributes in the elements. Then we can say uh, apply changes. So let's say here we have element type this, data type this, description. If I want to put the description, so let's say I'm saying login window for Centrix data solution window application right so it was not there but now I have added the description here we have all the attributes which is captured now if you want to make some changes here also you want to add one more attribute to, to this element you are going to remove something any changes that you are going to do you can click on apply changes and that will be saved you can see that change saved now let's say I just modified again and I'm not going to save that I will just if I'll close this one so it will ask you to discard the changes or apply the changes so this it works same this way right so I want to save that so I can just click on apply changes now the second button, second option that we have is help center. Help center is basically a uh, blue prism documents. So you can take a help from that blue prism documents, right? Let me show you. So you can see, unfortunately we don't have this file available here. Let me close that, no problem. We have add elements. So here you can see all the element list. And this is the parent element. This is for login window. This is the parent element for the home page. This is for orders menu like that. And inside that we have child element. Now if you want to add one more element, same as this. So you can just click on that parent and then click on add element. So it will create a separate parent element. You can see here. Now if you want to add child element which is inside the home page. Then you can click on first click on that child element and then click on add element. Now this will be added as a child element, right? Now, now this is not required. This element two is not required. So you can also delete that. How will you delete that this one? We don't have any right click or any options, but here we have this button delete element. So this delete element will delete this child or parent elements, right? We just now deleted. Now 
you saw here that we have login window now if you after capturing this element after identifying that element capture the attributes of that element you want to highlight that just to see that that whatever you have captured the attribute captured from that element is highlighting correctly or not it means that is correct or not so you can click on highlight elements so once I will click highlight elements so currently I don't have that application opened so it will launch that application you can see highlighting in progress and this can take some time so it is launching that one right and here it says that unable to match because we are clicking on this login window and here it says that it's not working so let me return to this and let me highlight again and it, now you can see it's working fine here that time it was not launched that's why it was throwing error now it is already launched and then we are highlighting so it's working fine let's say this is the staff number and I want to make sure that this attributes that we have just captured for this staff number text box is highlighting properly or not highlighting to this specific element means this will work fine once you'll run that it means it will uh, blue prism will type the value in the same exact element so let me highlight that and you can see it's highlighting here okay one more thing you can see time to identify so how much time this a uh, new application model is taking to identify the specific element so you can see the time 21 ms that is millisecond you can see this can also be less or greater so currently it's 15 ms i can try to highlight again this time it's 23 ms you can see for password text box let's try one more time it shows that 19 ms so if any element which is taking longer time to highlight so you can just focus on that you can just modify a few things from the elements attributes and that will work fine i think now we have detach so you know the concept of attach and detach so currently this application is attached with this application modeler that's why you are getting detach here now if you click on detach so this application will be detached from this blue prism objects or you can say as application modeler and then after that you will not able to highlight to this specific one because this is detached you have to attach it again to highlight or to work with that application so if i click on detach you can see detaching from that application and now this has been detached now if i'm going to highlight again so this will not highlight this password text box it will try to open another application see here it's going to open another centrix data solutions application right this is the two application opened here i'm going to close one of that this one which were detached so let me detach this again I, let me close that and now you can see here we have option that is attach so i want to attach that application so let me click on that so it's going to launch that application and it will attach to this application modeler and now we have identify element so identify elements means let's say i'm going to create one more i'm going to capture the elements the attributes i'm going to capture the elements attribute for let's say uh, one more uh, it can be a uh, terms of use or some other things so let me add here click on the staff number or like login button and click one more add element so we have this one and this time i'm going to capture this terms of huge terms of huge basically this is there is no use of this but just to show you i'm capturing this one so now terms of huge click on identify element and then we can go to this and we can identify here so this time the spy mode is automatic you can see automatic spy mode and now i'm going to press control and then left click here okay we just now capture the attributes of this element terms of huge this is 
showing as element type label 20 ms time to identify that element name is label 1 window 32 data type text and few more details like window text terms of use uh, class name window form these things now let me highlight that and you can see this is highlighting properly now let's say you want to modify few things from here uh, like let's say I screen visible and visible let's say I don't want this visible I can take screen visible both are okay so I can take any one so I just uncheck that one and if you think that we should take this parent window text so we'll take this also and then we'll see highlight that and it's working fine here right but now if you think that's not working not working or there is something change so you can re-identify that elements so i will click on re-identify it shows that re-identifying this element will replace all existing as spying information are you sure you want to continue so yes i want to re-identify and then it will allow you to indicate on that element so i can press ctrl and left click uh, just undo all the things that we modified previously and you can see visual skin visual everything is now coming here so with the use of re-identify you can re-identify that element and left side we have all the element list right side we have the property for this elements in between you can see one uh, this line or we can say um, an option which we can use to just expand this line as per our use and from the right side we have general property so here also we have apply changes we have help center detach identify you can modify the changes uh, the name here we have automatic spy mode so if this is enabled so application modeler will automatically select the uh, spy mode for you based on your application here we have attribute selection so automatic attribute selection if this is checked so it means application modeler automatically select the attributes to make the spy element unique if you think that automatic attribute selection is not capturing that attributes properly then you can also modify there and you can highlight and you can save that here we have the spy modes to use the custom attributes so this is basically for the window 32 because this is the windows application you can also modify that so this is for disable enable like that this is the application location from where this application will be launched let me delete this element this is not required let me go to this login window and let me delete this also okay and now let's up click on the apply changes this is saved and we can close this thank you so much for watching this video